how has uh, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. How has kind of the off season you know been for you? Uh, it's been good. You know, we've been putting in work. Um, Katie and Coach Sam, they've been giving us right. Uh, our new coaching staff, they've been helping us a lot. So I said we've been doing good, especially with team chemistry on and off the court. What's the feeling around this team compared to last year? I mean, you had a new coach last mm -hmm. year, and kind of trying to fill each other out. I mean, what's it like this year? Um, I would say it's definitely different. Um, I think this year we got more younger people, so it's like a lot of freshmen. We got a lot of newcomers. I think only like four returners, maybe. So it's very different, but I think we're we're meshing well. Um, I think the new coaching staff is helping us. Um. I think this year's team is actually going to be fun, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. How much did the postseason run kind of help you and this team grow even more? Like, you know, getting to that stage, winning a couple games, what was that process like, and how can that translate to future success? Yeah, um, definitely I feel like it helped. Uh, I know for sure me, that was my first time ever going to the NCAA tournament, but I think it helped us a lot because now I know the experience, I know what it feels like, I know what it's like to get there, but now it's like, okay, we need to take one more step to get, you know, one more round closer, you know, to the Sweet 16, possibly Elite 8. Coach Purcell kind of singled you and Jessica out as, you know, the leaders of the team. How are you two kind of taking on that role? Um, I think we're taking it on well, you know, I'm a senior now, so everybody's like pretty much younger than me, so I look at them as my little sisters. Um, make sure I, uh, they carry themselves well on and off the court and just teach them stuff like that I didn't know when I was a freshman or that I didn't know when I was a sophomore. Coach was talking about as well, you know, when they made the, the change in the coaching staff, how mm -hmm. You know, if you and Jessica had left, people would have understood. I guess, what was it about you know, that staff that y'all really bought into? And how much do you feel now that you've made that right decision? Um, I'll say Sam, man. Just seeing how much he cared for us last year and just, you know, him coming in and actually doing what he said he would do, you know, bringing us back to the tournament. Not only that, but being, like, the first team out to make it to the second round. So it's just, like, I put my trust in him. Like, we actually believed in him, and we knew that, you know, he could take us a step further, which he did. You see, top 25, too. <laughs> We hadn't, talk, we hadn't talked to you since this happened, but Nikki passed away mm -hmm. a few months ago, and I know she recruited you and coached yeah. you. I mean, what did she mean to you in the short time that you were able to spend with her? Um, I said Coach McCray meant a lot, you know. Um, my condolences go out to her family and her son Thomas. Um, but I, like I say, without Coach Nikki McCray, I wouldn't even be here. So my things go to her every single day, you know. I would still probably be in Tulane, so it's like, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at without her. So I thank her a lot. And y'all have had some ups and downs, you know, over your last three years. But, I mean, what's your time been like? I know you still got a few months yeah. left, but, I mean, what's it been like, you know, being a Bulldog the last few years? Coming from a team that started with seven to 15 and now 12. But I would say it's just, you know, I learned from it. You know, it, it helped me grow, which I feel like, which is the reason why I'm so stuck to Mississippi State because I've been through so much here. So it's like, it's like my home now. So it's like, why would I leave? I gave so much to the fans, you know. Doing the seven, losing, but the fans still giving us standing ovation is something I'll never forget. So I'll give my all to them until my time is up. All right, thanks, you guys.